good morning everyone welcome to the number 4 design for share in the previous classes we have discussed about how to design the transfers reinforcement or the share reinforcement based on the share strength of the concrete and based on the applied share force okay uh, for the rectangular section we have discussed with some examples now in the today's class we pass on to discuss about the principal stresses in the pscb and also how to calculate the principal stresses in the pscb this is the fourth session this section covers the following topics share stress and principal stresses in b and we will solve some examples on calculation of principal stresses in psc sections the shear distribution in a uncracked beam whenever if you take a uncracked beam okay in the previous sessions we discussed that okay uncracked beam means it is near to the support okay it is near to the support then for which deformation is assumed to be linear okay it is a linear is a function of what a shear force the properties of cross section of a member okay and the shear stress at a point okay if you want to calculate the shear stress at any point okay then the formula is what tau v is equal to vs by iv okay the same formula i think you also derived in your strength of the materials where tau v is shear stress due to the transverse loads means it is a shear stress due to the vertical loads transverse loads are vertical loads okay v is the shear force shearing force at which point we are calculating and s is the the, uh, the statical moment or first moment of area okay normally you are done in your strength of materials or in first year okay which is equal to what a into y bar okay a into y bar means for example if you take a rectangular section okay if you take a rectangular section okay then this is your neutral axis okay and this is the area of what we will consider then up to the center of this okay and this is called as what a y bar okay this is a y bar and this the above area okay this the above area this is what is the a okay this is the the a a into y bar okay this is the y bar and this above area of a neural axis is what is one this is called what is first moment of the area then i is you know already the moment second moment of inertia of a section or about on its center right and b is the breadth of the section at a given point where we are calculating the shear stress then we know that in pre stressed member the shear stress is generally accompanied by direct stress in the axial direction of member we have seen in the previous class the uh, the how the axial direction how the direct uh, direct stress is there in the axial direction of member and if it is a vertical okay if it is a vertical means then the vertical pre stressing is adopted okay whenever you have axial pre stressing or concentric pre stressing then you will get the axial direction direct stress the direct stress but even though if you have the vertical pre stressing then you will get your the direct stress in the form of what is vertical direction okay and both are what is compressive in nature okay and which are perpendicular to the axis of member okay those are the perpendicular to the axis of member in in present of in addition to the axial pre stress the most general case of any any element subjected to two dimensional stress system is shown in the figure 8.1 okay this i have taken from the krishna's book okay directly i have taken from there then if you see that figure see this is the figure okay here this is the figure now here we know that if you take a section near to the support and we know that all along the four sides here here and here it is subjected to what the shear force or the shear stress tau v and whereas here this fx and this fy it is is due to what is the see this is due to the, the concentric pre stressing force or axial pre stressing force and whereas this is due to what is the vertical pre stressing force this fx you will get due to the the axial pre stressing or the linear pre stressing but whereas 
FI you will get due to water, the vertical pre stressing, but both are there in water compression. And you have this these uh, two stresses, okay, the two normal stresses, FI and FX, and along with that, along the four planes, you have what is the shear stress. Okay, when this is the condition at the at the diagonal here, you will get what is the principal stresses. Okay, and these are called see these are called what is the principal stresses. Okay, and this is okay here you need to calculate what is what is the maxim, maximum principal stress and what is the minimum principal stress. Okay, by using this one, okay, by considering this shear stress and Fx and Fy, we need to derive the formula. Okay, and based on that, you can calculate what is, is F minimum or F max. Okay, which is called as what is the principal stresses. In some textbooks, they are also critical, they are also notation as sigma max and sigma minimum. Now, the formula to calculate is this is the formula, okay, which we have derived in the compound stresses in your strength of materials. Okay, from there, we have taken this formula. The formula is what F max or F minimum is equal to Fx by fx plus fy divided by 2 plus r minus half into square root of fx minus fy square plus 4 term with square. By using this, you can calculate what is the principal stresses. In pre stressed concrete member, whenever you have a direct stress, fx and fy, okay, and we know that both are there in what is compressive from the figure, the magnitude of principal stress is considerably reduced. This because of these values, okay, and this the uh, the principal stress value will reduce, okay, it will reduce, and in some cases you will dis eliminate this. In some cases you will get the principal stress as what is zero, okay. So that under working load, the both the major and minor principal stress, you can call it as maximum and minimum, or major and minor principal stresses are compressive, and thereby eliminating the risk of a diagonal tension crack in the P. This whenever, if you are able to eliminate the principal stresses, then you will not get any cracks in the P. Okay, and that we can do by increasing what if by increasing the Fx and Fy. The Fx is due to the axial pre stressing or the concentric pre stressing, and whereas Fy is due to what if vertical pre stressing. Means if you increase Fx and Fy, and you can eliminate what if the principal stress. Okay, so that you will not get any crack in the member, and we know that. Normally, in the PAC member, we don't want the cracks. Okay, this is the one way of the, the thing what we can do in the PAC member. Then, what are the ways of improving the shear resistance of a structural concrete members? By which is the I already told that. How we can improve the shear strength of concrete? Means we should not get the cracks. The way one way is what one is the axial pre stressing or horizontal pre stressing, or you can done pre stressing by inclined or sloping cables, or you can also do what is the vertical and transverse pre stressing. Means if you do this type of pre stressing, then you can eliminate what is the principal stress, the principal stresses, and so that your shear resistance of a set concrete section will improve. Now we'll move to the examples by using those two formulas. One is shear stress, other one is what is the principal stresses. Example number five. A concrete beam of section 200 by 600 mm is pre-stressed by a parabolic cable located at an eccentricity of 100 mm at a mid span and zero at the supports. If a beam has a span of 10 meter and carries a UDL load of 4 kN per meter, find the effective force necessary in cable for zero shear stress. Means you need to calculate effective force, means P you need to calculate. Okay, so that your shear stress should be what is zero. Means tau e should be what is zero at a support section where you need to calculate at support section. For this condition, calculate the principal stress. Okay, for this condition, you need to calculate what is principal stress. F max and F minimum or sigma max and sigma minimum. Assume density of concrete as water 25 kN per meter. Now here he has given the parabolic cable and he has given the eccentricity as 100 mm and he has given the, the size of the section as the size of the section as 
200 by 300 mm. Okay, the span is what? 10 meter. Okay, P has given, D has given, span has given, live load has given, 4 kilogram per meter. And we need to calculate the pre stressing force at a tau V is equal to 0. And he has given the density of 25 kilometer per meter cube. Now, first we will calculate the load. Okay, dead load on the beam is equal to P into D into 25. P is 200, it is 300 in terms of meter, sorry, it is 600. In terms of meter, 0.2 into 0.6 into 25, you will get dead load as what? Self weight of the beam is 3 kilometer per meter. Similarly, the live load on the beam is equal to what? Given it is 4 kilometer per meter, therefore, total load is how much? 7 kilonewton per meter. And one thing you need to keep it in mind, whenever the inclined pre-stressing is there, due to this, okay, this is the inclined pre-stressing, and if you divide this into the two components, one will be the horizontal component, and other one will be what? Yeah? The vertical component. The vertical component is what? P sin theta. Okay, this you need to keep it in your mind. Then the ultimate load or factored load is equal to the total load into 1.5, you'll get 10.5 kilonewton per meter. And the maximum shear force or ultimate shear force for simply supported beam at the support section is asked. Okay, it is equal to what is WL by 2. W you know, okay, L is 10 meter, and if you calculate this, you'll get 52.5 kilonewton. Then, therefore, the net shear at support, because we know that because of inclined tendon, we have the the downward vertical force that is what is P sin theta. Therefore, the net okay is equal to what the applied VU. Okay, this is also at the support, and this is also at the support. This this minus this. Okay, net VU minus P sin theta. Okay, VU already we know, but we need to calculate what is P sin theta. But here we don't know the P value. He has told that you need to calculate the P value. Okay, this P value at when tau V is equal to zero. Okay, therefore, and we need to calculate sin theta. Okay, sin theta means the slope. Okay, whenever the parabolic cable is there, slope is equal to what? 4e by L. Okay, E is the eccentricity, L is the span of the beam. 4 into E, 100 divided by L, okay, in terms of mm, 10 meter is there, 10,000 mm. And you will get this as what? 0 0.04 radians. Okay, and therefore, this V is equal to 52.5 minus P into 0 0.04 times. Okay, then we need to calculate the by equating shear stress is equal to zero but shear stress is equal to what tau v into tau v is equal to v into okay a y bar i told that in that as well okay a y bar divided by i into v okay v is equal to what the net shear force 52.5 minus p 0 0.0 totals and a y bar i told in the previous the discussion okay how you will calculate a y bar then if this is the section okay this is a section the half is how much? This is 300, total is 600. Okay, and if you take this center, it will be what? 125. Okay, this will be your Y bar. Okay, Y bar will be 125, and the area will be what? 300, uh, 200 into 300. Okay, 200 into 300 is A, and this is 125 is what? 150 is what? Eh? The Y bar. Okay, in this way, you need to calculate that A Y bar. And if you substitute that value here, okay, A Y bar. Then I value we know BD Q by 12 and B is breadth of the beam, he has given 200. And if you see, we know that we need to equate this to 0. If you equate this to 0 and substitute the, all the values, then you will get P is equal to what? 1312.5 kilonewton. Then we need to calculate the principal stresses. Okay, I told that Fx is it is an axial pre stressing or horizontal pre stress at support is equal to what? P by A because at support it is what P by A. Okay, P U L now we have calculated and area means we know 200 by 600. If you substitute, you will get 10.93 newton per mm square. And F I means vertical stress. There is no vertical stress in the given the question. In the question, he has not given any vertical vertical stress since it is what a zero. Then we know the formula for F max, F minimum, or sigma max and sigma minimum. Okay, this is the formula. F, fx by fx plus fy divided by 2 plus or minus half of square root of fx minus fy whole square plus 4 into tau square. Okay, you know fx, you know fy, and you know fx fy, but we know that tau is equal to 1, 0. Then if you substitute these values, all the values, you will get 
if it is plus it is sigma max if it is minus it is sigma minimum okay once if you substitute plus you will get the answer as 10.93 newton per mm square and if you substitute minus you are getting what is zero okay these are the the maximum and minimum principal stresses are measured the minor principal stresses okay in this way we need to calculate what is we need to calculate the principal stresses in a psc b another one example same example but only thing is one data i have changed okay here a concrete beam a concrete beam of rectangular section 200 mm wide 650 mm deep but in the last problem it is 600 mm deep is pre stressed by a parabolic cable located at an eccentricity of 120 mm in the previous problem it is 100 mm at a mid span and zero at the support if the beam has to if the beam has a span of 12 meter and carries a udl live load of 4.5 kN per meter live load is given find the effective force necessary in the cable for zero shear stress okay at the support section for this conduction okay for this condition it is not conduction it is condition make the correct correction calculate the principal stresses and he has given density of current is 24 kN per meter cube okay it is almost same to the previous problem only the data is changed okay now here he has given the span as 650 by 200 and he has given the live load 4.5 he has given the es 120 mm at this support the cable is having zero zero eccentricity at the center it is 120 mm span is 12 meter okay once again you need to calculate p at zero shear stress first you calculate i bd q by 12 you will get this answer then we know b is equal to 200 mm ay bar i told that static moment or first moment of area the a means the area of this upper portion is 200 total is 650 if it is half is 325 is 200 into 325 will be the this area okay this area then this y bar is the half of this it will be almost 325 divided by 2 okay 325 divided by 2 if you substitute this you will get what is ay bar then you can calculate the dead load of the beam 3.25 kN per meter live load on the beam 4.5 kN per meter and total load is how much 7.75 kN per meter and ultimate load or factor load 1.5 times of 7.75 we are getting what 11.625 kN per meter then you can calculate the maximum shear force at the support okay when is udl load it is what wl by 2 at the support it is reaction okay wl by 2 it is if you substitute w and l you will get 69.75 kN and we know that sin theta is equal to 4e by l okay if you substitute 4e and l you will get 0.04 then net shear force is equal to vu is equal to vu minus your p sin theta okay this minus this p sin theta okay, if substitute this then in the tau e is equal to 0 we need to calculate what is this p value okay if it is equal to 0 if we substitute vu ay bar i and b okay if all the values are substituted then you will get what is this p value this p is equal to 170 1743.75 10^-3 newton okay in this way we need to calculate what is the pre stressing force by its equating shear stress is equal to zero then you need to calculate the principal stresses okay the horizontal the pre stress fx is equal to p by a okay we have calculated p value we know the a value substitute and you will get 13.41 newton per mm square as there is no vertical pre stress fy is equal to zero then here for sigma max and sigma mu minimum substitute all the values you know all the values if you substitute all the values you will get the maximum principal stress is 13.41 newton per mm square and minimum stress is it is zero okay in this way you can calculate what is the principal stresses in a psc b same problem with sim with a different data we have done okay now we will go for the another different problem to calculate the principal stresses okay example number 7 A pre-stressed concrete beam 
of 10 meter span is having 10 meter rectangular section 120 mm wide 300 mm deep is pre stressed by a curved cable carrying an effective force of 180 kilonewton means here p value we has given 180 kilonewton the beam supports a total uniformly distributed load of 5 kilonewton meter means here he has given the total load which includes what self weight of the member means he has, here he has given what a total load okay the beam the beam is additionally pre stressed by the vertical cables imparting a stress of 2.5 newton per mm square in the direction of depth of the beam is here he has given the f y value vertical pre stressing it is how much 2.5 newton per mm square estimate the nature of principal stresses developed at the support section we need to calculate sigma max and sigma minimum at support section the cable has zero eccentricity at support and an eccentricity of 100 mm below the cgc at the midspan of the section okay the difference is what in this problem he has given the vertical pre-stress okay along with the axial pre-stress then this is the beam parabolic cable at the center eccentricity eccentricity is 100 mm at the support it is zero but where the size is how much size is the 120 by 300 mm okay total load he has given is what 5 kilometer per meter okay and he has given the p okay, the pre stressing force 180 kilonewton and he has given the vertical pre stressing 2.5 newton per mm square which is called as what area of 5 and we need to calculate horizontal pre stress where fx is equal to p by a p has given a value we know 120 by 300 if you calculate this you will get 5 newton per mm square then i need to calculate tau v okay therefore first i will calculate the i value pdq by 12 you will get this answer b is 120 mm ay bar same thing i told ay bar means the area of the uh, above neutral axis okay 120 by 300 by 2 means this will be how much 125 so 150 okay 120 into 150 divided by the half of this this will be 150 by 2 this is the ay bar okay then you use your shear stress formula okay and the ultimate shear force in a span is equal to total load which is 5 but if you want to ultimate load 1.5 into 5 okay you will get the okay, w value okay then if you substitute wl by 2 you are getting what is the maximum shear force at the support okay and we know that sin theta is equal to 4e by l at 0 0.04 and we know that the effective the net shear force is equal to this is the, the shear force due to the support reaction is this value sorry this value minus p sin theta p already we know sin theta it is a year 0 0.04 p is given 180 okay one year it is calculated if you substitute these values you will get what is v u is equal to 30300 newtons and now you can go for what is the calculation of principal stress by using the formulas but first we will calculate the shear stress tau v is equal to Vu into Ay bar by Ib. Vu now only we have calculated 30300. Ay bar, this is the value. Substitute all the values, Ib everything, you will get 1.26 newton per mm square. Then, therefore, principal stress is equal to here he has given Fx and Fy. Okay, Fx we have calculated, we have got as what? 5. Fy has given the question 2.5. Okay, this also we know. Tau we now we have calculated 1.26. And if you substitute all these values, you will get maximum principal stress as 5.52 newton per mm square and minimum principal stress as 1.97 newton per mm square okay this when it comes whenever you are applying what is the vertical pre stress okay then we will go for the next problem example number 8 a pre stressed i section as a following properties he has given the I section area is how much? Area is equal to 55 10 raised to 3 mm square. Second moment of area 189 into 10 raised to 7. Okay, it is second moment of area means it is I value. Statical moment about centroid means it is what is your AY bar. Okay, it is what is it is your AY bar while calculating the shear stress. 468 into 10 raised to 4 mm raised to 3. 
and thickness of web is how much 50 mm it is pre stressed horizontally by 24 wires of 5 mm diameter and vertically by similar wires at 150 mm center to center see horizontally 24 wires of 5 mm di diameter but vertically by same wires the same wire with same diameter of wires okay at 150 mm center to center means there is a difference between one wire to other wire is how much 150 mm center to center all the wires can carry a tensile stress of 900 newton per mm square okay then calculate the principal stresses at the centroid when a shearing force of 80 kN acts upon this section okay means here he has given this as whatever the v value okay v is equal to 80 kN now we will calculate by using this condition the first one is what it is having both the the axial pre stressing and also what is the vertical pre stressing but the vertical pre stressing is at a distance of what is 150 mm from one wire to other wire okay this is a diagram then the area here is given shear force here is given 80 kN but if we calculate ultimate shear force we need to multiply by 1.5 factor you will get 120 kN okay then he has given second moment of area is i axis and static moment i told it is what is a y bar okay then b breadth of the web is given 50 mm horizontal pressure is equal to what fx is equal to p by a but we don't know the p value but instead of that pre stressing force he has given what is stress stress in a wire is equal to how much stress in a wire is equal to 900 newton per mm square but we know the area of the cable total how many cables are there 24 cables diameter is how much 5 mm okay the area of 24 cables okay stress into area you will get what is force pre stressing force 424.11 424.11 10 to 3 okay newton then now you and similarly you need to also calculate what is this is what is the pre stressing force in the axial but in the vertical okay you have only one wire there are no there are no 24 wires okay you have a one one wire at a spacing of how much 150 mm center to center therefore this stress is equal to the single area wire pi by 4 into the pi square okay diameter square this will be what is the pre stressing force is 17.67 10 raised to 3 now by using this pre stressing you can calculate the fx by using this one you can calculate what is then first we calculate fx p by a okay it is almost 7.71 newton per mm square and f5 p by a but this p will be different this p is due to what is the vertical pre stressing wires okay this is 2.356 newton per mm square now we will calculate tau v tau v is equal to v into a y bar ib v is given 120 okay already is given and y bar okay we need uh, a y bar already we has given the uh, in the problem and i and b these are the i and b values okay and th from this you will get uh, but main important is what in while calculating f5 p by a here in while calculating the fx okay as it is subjected to what a total section here you can take the total area of the section but this vertical pre stressing it is due to what a the 150 mm spacing and due to what a web okay that's why this area is equal to what the spacing into the web thickness okay please be careful here okay this is the one thing you need to keep in mind and here if you substitute all these values okay you will get the tau v 5.94 newton per mm square and you know tau v you know fx and you you know f5 if you substitute all the values in the formula you will get sigma max as 11.54 newton per mm square and sigma minimum as 1.48 newton per mm square okay this is when you are applying what is the vertical stress with this i will end the today's session okay and if you have any doubts please post your questions in whatsapp group and also you can just post your questions in the in your youtube link